Hello everyone, welcome back to another Purity series. It's so nice to have you again. My name is Adegbe Grace Mercy. I trust that you've been blessed so far. God bless you as you continue to share the video, as you continue to watch in Jesus' name. Last week we talked about all things are passed away. You need to know that when you give your life to Christ, God does not remember your sin anymore. He does not call you by the nature of who you were, or He now calls you by the nature of who you are in Christ Jesus. Your present status is now a child of God, no longer who you used to be. So today I'd like us to talk from the scriptures. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 27 and verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid of? So I'd like to teach fear today. As a person who is on a journey to fulfilling purpose in life, if you allow fear to limit you of who God has called you to be, you will not be able to do so much. Fear is one of the tools the devil used to keep a person in bondage, keep a person in a particular status without allowing the person to press on to higher things that God has committed into the person's hand. No, you can't do this. This is the highest level you can get to. No, it's not your type that go through this route. No, you can't buy this. No, you can't have this. No, you cannot perform this miracle. No, you cannot walk in this power. In this um, work, in the working of the miracles, you cannot have the gift of the spirit. You cannot have this. You can't. It's actually the the basis of the devil to limit a person and so we need to understand that the Lord is my light and my salvation so I'm going to talk about three things from that scripture that would help you come out of whatever fear the devil is putting you light you need to understand that at every point in your life the light of God will shine in your life the light of God the Bible says in him was life and the life was the light of men so the Bible says that he that hath the son hath life and he that hath not the son Act not like linking the two scriptures together. Jesus is the light. So we must allow Jesus to come and shine in our lives at every time. If fear is setting in at every time, the only thing you need to overcome the fear is light. If a place is very dark and a child is you know scared of the darkness, the only thing you need to make that child come out of the fear is to switch on the light. So when you switch on the torch light or you switch on the flashlight, the child immediately comes out of the fear. So that fear you are present, you need light. It could be word of knowledge, word of wisdom, or oh, go this route, do this, you know, from somebody, from a mentor. It could be just a word from somebody. So you need light to be able to come out of fear. Another thing you need to know is that you need salvation. Some persons are not truly born again. They have not come into the realization of who they are in Christ. They are right as a son of God. They are right as a child of God. The Bible says that he has not given us the spirit of fear, the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption whereby we can cry, Abba Father. God is not a God that is far away. He is so near. God is not a father that wants you to call him only when everything is good. Remember that the devil would always want to take that knowledge of you calling God on the days of adversity away from you. You have failed. You can't do this again. You have you failed in life and all of those, you know, thoughts that can bring fear of the unknown to you. But you need to know that God has come to take away the spirit of bondage of fear and has replaced it with the spirit of adoption. You can cry out to God as your father. Salvation will come when you cry out for salvation so you need to know that light is important salvation is important and the last thing is strength you need to build up strength in the place of prayer in the place of the word of god in the place of fasting don't wait for challenges to come don't wait for the tempting times to come before you pray before you study the word of god because fear will always come at every point in time but what you prepare that's what the bible says that he will faint in the days of adversity it means that his strength is small please build up your strength build up your capacity stay in the place of prayer stay in the place of the word of god stay fasting don't wait for somebody to call fasting before you fast for somebody to call a prayer meeting before you pray for somebody to call a bible study before you open the scripture make it a daily routine soak yourself in something that when fear comes it will not be able to stand soak yourself in the word of god when fear comes it will not be able to stand thank you so much for watching and i want you to know that everything we have 
everything God is rather is who we can actually be. If God has peace and joy, we can actually have peace and joy. If God has righteousness, we can actually have righteousness. If God has everything in place, we can also have everything. That's why the Bible says we can do all things through Christ that strength. If you don't allow fear, remember light, salvation and strength will help you overcome fear. Thank you so much and God bless you.